is probably hardly anyone who has not heard or read about the Lily of the Valley. The name Lily of the Valley is therefore familiar to many. In addition to the Latin plant name, Convalaria majalis, the flower is also known by the names Mary's flower or Myriesli. The latter name is used mainly in the German-speaking part of Switzerland. However, since Lily of the Valley is indisputably the best-known name of this flower, it will be used in the rest of the text. The Lily of the Valley is a green-leaved small flower with white flowers and red berries. Depending on the size of the plant, Lily of the Valley can have between two and three leaves. Characteristic of the leaves of this flower is their triangular shape. The white flowers are located in the middle of the leaves. Among plants, the small lily of the valley is rather a loner. There is only one species of lily of the valley, which greatly facilitates the choice when buying plants. Lily of the valley belongs to the lily family and to the asparagus family. It has no major soil requirements, but thrives best in partial shade. It originates from Central and Southern Europe and the Caucasus region. In the wild it is mainly found in mountainous regions. The small white flower is also not alien to North America. Here, however, it has been deliberately cultivated by humans. In the late Middle Ages, the lily of the valley was believed to have all kinds of healing powers. Thus, it allegedly not only helped with strokes or heart disorders, but was also used against menstrual cramps, afterpains, pain in the lumbar region and pain in the limbs. Furthermore, mainly old people were treated with lily of the valley juice, because the plant was supposed to prevent against old age ailments. Here, however, it is not entirely clear whether or not lily of the valley was thereby attributed a rejuvenating effect. Over time, however, experts recognized the toxicity of the plant. Too high a dosage can cause heart, kidney and liver damage as well as respiratory problems, leading to death. That is why today the lily of the valley is very rarely used as a medicinal herb. Nevertheless, the healing properties of this plant should not be completely disregarded. Thus, the extract obtained from lily of the valley is often used in homeopathic ready-made preparations. Even though the lily of the valley has not been able to establish itself as a miracle cure, its extract in small quantities is still considered to be helpful in preventing a stroke. Of course, such lily of the valley preparations can only be taken concomitantly and do not replace medical examinations and treatments in the event of an existing or impending stroke. As an additional safety measure, lily of the valley may only be used in preparations with the D++ label. By the way, the extract with healing properties comes from the flowers. The juice from the stems is highly toxic. Reports that children have died after touching a lily of the valley and then putting their fingers in their mouths have not been confirmed. In 2014, however, the lily of the valley was voted the most poisonous plant of the year. Even though the lily of the valley is one of the native plants in many European countries, they are still not allowed to be picked wild in many places. The small flower, which is often found in small groups in shady places such as beech groves, is a protected species. However, those who do not want to do without their lily of the valley have the option of growing the plant at home, either in a pot or in their own garden. Although the lily of the valley is considered a typical Mayflower, its flowering period is from March to June. Therefore, from March to April, the best cuttings of lily of the valley can be acquired. Since there is only one type of lily of the valley, when buying it is only necessary to pay attention to the vitality and strength of the plant. Then, in the home garden, the fairly undemanding plant often comes into bloom for several years. The lily of the valley is not called the flower of Mary for nothing. In the Christian doctrine of flowers it stands for the purity and innocence of Mary. The white flowers reinforce this impression, while the mostly green leaves represent hope. At the same time, it is considered a love flower and a symbol of May.